Welcome to Revival Cycles Tech Talk. In this episode, we are covering the JW Speaker Adaptive 7 inch LED headlight. This thing's pretty awesome. Welcome back. Today we are talking about the JW Speaker 7-inch adaptive LED headlight, and that adaptive word is really the most important part of what we're talking about here. Uh, this is a JW Speaker model, which means that it's really, really well built. JW Speaker makes fantastic forward lighting equipment and has for quite a long time, and they've recently come out with a motorcycle-specific adaptive headlight. Well, what, do you, what does adaptive mean? What does that actually mean? It means that these lights on the sides actually will change the beam pattern depending on your bank angle or how much you're turning. You may have noticed when you're riding your bike, when you go into a corner, you have this kind of dark spot where you can't really see the road um, and it gets more pronounced the more you're leaning. This light actually deals with that. It will adjust the beam pattern as you're in your corner and it will constantly update that in order to give you the best illumination and under any riding conditions. In this episode, we're just going to cover kind of this light specifically. We are going to do another video that you should look for in a couple of weeks where we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison of the beam patterns, how much light output, how much current draw, all those kinds of details and really, really technical scientific stuff. But for right now, we're just going to talk about build quality, feature sets, and other odds and ends. So build quality, first up. JW Speaker makes some pretty nice things. This is no substitute. Really nice front uh, glass element really nice cast aluminum back housing. This is still basically in a raw finish. They didn't even bother to paint this because they didn't have anything to hide. This is just as cast, pretty well done. Even the uh, cable exits come out and go through a proper strain relief so that no matter how much this vibrates and bounces around, you're not gonna fatigue the actual solder joints down here um, where it enters into the circuit board. Um, also with the cables exiting, if anything does ever happen to the terminals where you plug in your standard H4 connector, you would be able to clip this off and install a new one rather than having to replace the entire light. So nice things. Uh, this does also come with the red wire. The red wire gets connected to uh, a daytime running light or a pilot light or a parking light, if depending on what the regulations are in your area. And that's just going to be kind of a low power front marking light for places that require it. Um, far as I'm concerned, you don't really need that. I don't really need that. I'm good with just a standard low beam, but some people like to have it and that's up to you. So it's there if you want it. Now when we start to look at the actual LEDs on this, you can see there's, there's a ton of them. There's a whole string on this side, another string here. There's the, um, the three kind of big ones across the middle, the two smaller ones on the outside, another uh, one right here in the top, and then the three across the bottom. These are all gonna light up in different ways depending on what functions are being enabled. Uh, under low beam, we're pretty much just running on the middle three, and then during the adaptive part where you're banking, then the, the sides will light up depending on which, which way you're turning. And then for high beam, we introduce the, um, the three across the bottom. Some pretty cool stuff, really well built. Uh, it's worth noting that these are not reflector type LEDs. These are actually forward emitting, so the, all the beam pattern control and um, kind of the cutoffs and all that stuff is handled by the optics in the glass. You don't have any light loss due to the reflection, um, due to the absorption of the reflector, and you also have better control of what that beam pattern actually is. Really cool stuff, highly engineered, really well built, and as you would expect, that means it's not cheap. So what does it look like? Is this thing actually as cool as it sounds? Let's power it up, starting with a ground wire, connect that to black, and a power wire, connect that to just the low beam for now. All right, and you may have seen all those adaptive lights dancing around in there, and that's just how it's orienting itself. It's kind of calibrating itself so that it knows which way's up. Um, if I roll this light, you can see that some of the side lights will start to actually illuminate, and that's what that adaptive process is doing. As you would be going into a corner, it's gonna change the light patterns to match what your bank angle is to make sure that you can see as much of the road as possible. Really, really cool stuff. So that's the low beam. Let's see what the high beam looks like. Excuse me while I fiddle with this. All right, so that's the high beam, re reinitializing those adaptive uh, LEDs. So the high beam has quite a bit brighter light that is actually um, 
got a higher cutoff, so it's going to extend the beam pattern further down the road, giving you longer distance visibility. All right, so the last question on everybody's mind is, what does this look like when it's actually installed on the bike? So I've got a relatively standard seven inch um, trim ring from a Lucas reproduction headlight shell. And if we just kind of pop this guy in, you can see it looks exactly like it should. This is a direct replacement for any standard seven inch sealed beam or standard um, halogen H4 type headlight. You can just remove the reflectors and replace into the trim ring with the LED headlight. The amount that sticks out the front is appropriate to this type of an application. Some of the lights don't do that and we'll, we'll point that out in those videos when it's appropriate. But this one looks great and if this was in a complete bucket, man, that'd really dress up your bike. So that's pretty much it for the uh, JW Speaker 7-inch adaptive LED headlight. It's pretty cool technology and I can't wait to get this on a motorcycle, see how it is to ride with, and then also bring it into the lab and do some more scientific testing and evaluation. So keep an eye out for those videos. They'll be coming up soon, I hope. And you can see this light and a whole lot of other fantastic products at revivalcycles.com. And we use the same products to build the bikes that we, that we build. And that means we know exactly how they work. We know how to integrate them into various custom motorcycles. And if you run into any problems on your application, send us an email at tech support at revivalcycles.com or you can give us a phone call and we're always here to help you get your project back on the road. Thanks for watching.